Well hi everybody, at last the rain has stopped. <laughs> it's been horrendous, rain, rain and more rain. It's been blooming awful, what a terrible summer we're having. I've not done a lot round the pond, I've not done a lot of videoing. I did start to get a lot of flowers on my plants, but as you can see the rain has just bashed them to pieces. They're still shooting flowers out and still growing. They're lovely plants they are when they get going but there you go there's not a lot we can do about that uh, my pond plants they're coming on quite well they're doing a lot better than the last lot I bought did they're coming up and uh, growing nicely and as you can see they're going quite well so quite pleased with them the lilies we have got quite a few leaves on the lilies the little one it keeps chucking leaves up it's lost one or two because they did pull them off but we've got three there and some more coming so I'm quite pleased with them. But the pond itself everything's going quite well. No complaints there. Everything seems to be running fine. What I've got to do, what I did just before all this rain was put some weed and feed on the lawn <laughs> and it's growing like mad. I only cut it about, I managed to get out and cut it about three days ago and it wants doing again. That weed and feed's really good stuff, but boy, you do have to keep cutting your lawn. It does make it grow and green it up, but pond-wise, I've got some new pond lights. I'll show you them in a minute. I'm gonna take these old ones off that's down here. Now, they must be at least seven years old and starting to look a little bit tatty. I don't put them down in the pond because they're a job to clean. And with them being on every night, they can get algae up very quick. So I have them around the top of the pond, so they're easier to clean, basically. So I can get them clean and get all the algae off them on a regular basis without a lot of hard work. So that's where I have them. So I should just be taking them out and putting the new ones in. What I am trying this time is some coloured ones. How I'll get on with them, I don't know. Don't know whether I should be too keen of the colours, but you can have them on permanent white if you like, so I don't think that's too much of a problem. But it's got a little remote control, I'll show you them in a minute. You can have a look at them before I fit them, and then I'll get them fitted. But first of all, while it's stopped raining, I've got to cut my lawn before it gets any worse. Well guys, that's got that job done. Didn't take long at all, I've just got uh, the front to do. I'll get that done out of the way and then we can get down to some proper pond work. So that's earned me a couple of brownie points anyway. As these have just come, I've ordered myself some new pond lights, basically. They're only the cheap ones, nothing fancy. Um, mine are white, and they've always been white. I mean, they've been very good. The ones I've got on there, I've had about seven years, to be quite honest. And they're starting to look a bit tatty now, so uh, I thought I'd have a change. Now, what I've got this time is the coloured ones. Um, what these are going to be like, I really don't know. Very much the same as what I've already got, but mine aren't coloured. These are coloured, so I'm going to give the coloured ones a try. Whether I like them or not, I really don't know. But there's a little remote control and everything in there. So I should just basically take mine out and put these back where they were. So I've got that little job to do. They come today, I think it was about 20 quid if I remember right. Probably just over. And they do change colour and do different things. Whether I should like that or not I really don't know. But I thought I'd give it a go. Just to see. If not I think you can have them on just continuous white. So it's not too bad. But I'll give them a go. I'll get them fitted. If the rain eventually stops, we'll have a bash with them. Right, well that's got the electrics to the lights uh, all undone and unplugged. So now I'm just going to whip the lights off around the pond and we'll get the old ones out. Right, well that's uh, got the old ones out. Now I've got to try to get the new ones in. This is why I've changed them actually, if you look here. They're starting to go brown inside and a lot of condensation in them. I think I paid about 13 quid, 14 quid for them at the time, about seven, seven years ago. So they've not done bad for that sort of money. But like I say, we'll try these coloured ones. I'm a little bit apprehensive about them, but we're going to give them a go. 
so now I've just got to sort the electrics out over there and get them installed okay guys they're all in and fixed so now let's have a look I've got the remote here well, that's got them on not quite sure what's that do oh that's them flashing that's what they call strobe it's all a bit quick though how do you slow it down I wonder how you slow it down yeah. well, I shall have to have a play about with them at night I think they do all sorts of strange things but I'll have a play with them later but they're all in and they're working and I'm still not quite sure about the colours but I'll see once it gets dark, we'll have a look and see how it works. Well, I hope you can see that guys, this is at night. They're not actually white, they are blue and red, all the bulbs are on at the same time. But uh, they do actually give off a good effect, to be quite honest, I quite like that. If the fish get in front of them, it really shows their colour up prominent really good but I do quite like them I don't like them flashing I did try them flashing they're too fast and I can't see how to slow them down so whether you can or not I don't know but uh, I do like them yeah quite good quite pleased with them got a nice little bluey ready tint to them great stuff you can't have just white I found out the 36 LEDs are all on and lit now so yeah great stuff I like them Okay guys, what I've got here is, I'm set up, as you've probably seen me do this before, uh, the bottom drain looks to be manky and I'm not getting the flow through it, I should. So I've whipped the lid off and I'm going to give that a good hoovering out and I'll probably get my carcher and give it a blast out. But I've got the lid off, I'm just going to hoover that out first. As you can see, I've got the lid off there. I've just whipped that off, so now I want to get the hoover in and give it a clean out.
Well good morning everybody and what a beautiful morning we've got this morning absolutely super as you all know I clean out my bottom drain yesterday got all that clean out got the uh, bottom pipe all back flushed using the pressure washer and today what I want to do now the uh, dust has settled uh, give it a good hoovering out give it a good pond back out now just to clean it up I haven't given it a hoovering out for quite some time so I'm going to get that done next and give it a good clean up basically a bit of general pond maintenance the flowers now are getting a bit of sun are starting to show starting to look good they're coming pretty well I have been doing some slabbing around the front which has held things up quite a bit I've been putting new paths in and that sort of thing but apart from that everything's hunky-dory as they say the pond lights are in my verdict on them basically I think is I don't like the flashing at all so I shan't be using that and the white which is uh, supposedly white is a bluey white and to be quite honest it's quite good it really does show the colours up on the fish really well as they swim by it anyway I'm going to get the pond back out and give it a good clean up for those of you that don't know, this is my dirt collector that I collect, that I connect to my pond rack. This is the sponge I have in the bottom. Underneath that, it's supported by a stainless steel mesh. Just lifts it a couple of inches or inch and a half off the bottom of the box. Then the foams, I've got a blue one underneath, this one on top, and the foams fit in like so just to take a little bit more of the finer dirt out basically as it goes through and the green one on top like so they fit in the bottom then I've got the actual mesh itself which fits under there and clips in down the bottom like so and basically that's it that's going to catch all the algae and the stuff that I don't really want I do have a 90 degree elbow that actually goes on the top there this is so that the water drops onto the uh, the mesh better basically and that's it now we'll connect the pond back to it and there we go guys it's all connected up so uh, I'm going to give the pond a good hoover now. I won't bore you with the video of that. I've got it in plenty of other videos, previous videos that I've done. So I'm not going to bore you with that. So I'm going to give it a good hoover out now and a good clean up. I'm all ready to go with the hoovering. And as you can see, there's my old cat keeping her eye on me, making sure I'm doing a good job. She usually comes out and watches everything I do. Just keep her eye on me, basically. But there she is, bless her. That's my puss cat. Well guys, I hope you can see it, that's the dirt that's come up from the pond, I've got a tray full at the bottom there and the mesh is absolutely full. But what I've done since then, I've got my brush out, which I haven't had out this year at all, and I've gone round the walls of the pond and the floor of the pond everywhere and I hope you can see, <laughs> that's really found the dirt. That was all hidden dirt. I hoovered it out and then went round with the brush and that's what it's fetched up. So that's going to take the old RDF a couple of three hours to clear. But it will clear it, it's not a problem. But at least I've got all the dirt from where it's been lurking. What I want to do now is just let it settle down a bit and then I'm going to give it another bashing with the Aqua Resolve just to keep the algae at bay and see if it'll do a little bit more at all this algae that I'm getting out. I mean that is dirt and algae, it's not just algae. But uh, yeah, plus the sieve filter's taking it out. I'm not quite sure whether you can see, but I emptied that about three or four minutes ago and it's taking out all the big stuff. So we're getting well filtered at the minute. So all's good. We've just got to get rid of the uh, finer stuff, the cloudy stuff in the pond now. Let's have a quick look at the dirt that's coming out. This is what we're getting at the pond. So I'm banging a lot more water through it at the moment just to get it uh, get the pond cleaned up. 
So that's the sort of dirt that's coming out and the pond pump's running. I hope you can see that at about 140, 43, 44 watt at the minute. I've turned it up. I could go more but uh, that'll do for now and it'll help just move the water through that bit quicker and like you've just seen it is fetching a lot a lot of dirt out so all's working well at the moment that's the return i've got to the pond at the moment quite a good return that's a good flow for 140 watt and that is with head pressure so that's not bad at all i do like these pumps i must say but that's the return I've got at the moment, which I believe is nearly more than my last pump, which was 170 watt. And I do believe that's turning out more, but uh, yeah, great stuff. I'm all in for these eco pumps. As you can see now, guys, the pond's starting to look a bit clearer. We're getting there. It's about two hours after I finished actually cleaning it out. But... Uh, looking a lot clearer now what I'm going to do now is while it is slightly cloudy is uh, get some of the algae killer in the pond right I'll get the aqua resolve in the pond Okay, that's got it in the pond. So it's been about six weeks since I did it. So this is just a matter of trying to keep it down, keep that algae back if we can. So that's about it. We're all about done at the minute. Well guys, from a fantastic sunny day here in South Lincolnshire, it just leaves me to say, thanks for watching, do take care, and as always, happy ponding. <laughs>